This is Deckmate. Basically, it's chess with a card game thrown on top of it. You can clone your pieces, make them explode, split the board in half, and more. Stay tuned to the end of the video for info on my first alpha test. Deckmate is my first solo game development project. I'm a college student studying art and computer science, and I've been learning Unity for the past 8 months while making this game. Let me show you how it works. At its core, Deckmate is built on top of standard chess. If no cards are played, the rules are almost exactly the same. The only differences are that the king takes multiple hits to capture, and the king can also choose to remain in check, although it's still not allowed to move into check. Now this is where it gets interesting. After move 5, cards are drawn into the shop. The shop will continue to refresh every 5 moves. You buy cards with gold, which you get by making moves and capturing pieces. After you buy them, you have to use energy to use them. You get 1 energy per turn, up to a maximum of 10. Right now, there are 9 different cards. Both players currently have access to the same cards, but as I add more, I will probably introduce some kind of deck building. Allow me to introduce each card. The first is the hologram. The hologram creates a clone of any piece, excluding the king and queen. For the next three moves, your original piece is locked in place, and you'll be able to control a clone of it instead. After the clone expires or gets captured, the original piece will be able to move again. This card is great for poking holes in your opponent's position, and for burning through their other cards. Next up is Mutually Assured Destruction. This card can be placed on a pawn or minor piece, and turns it into a death trap. When it gets attacked, both pieces get captured. This card can be very strong in the right situation, since it eliminates the need for that piece to be defended. Now, the first two cards sound very powerful, but shields can limit their strength. The shield cards can be placed on any piece, excluding the king and queen. The small shield gives a piece 3 shield, and the large shield gives 5. Shields can be stacked up to 10. Each type of piece deals a different amount of damage, and can only capture piece with a shield value lower than your piece's damage value. This allows pieces to survive mutually assured destruction, and can even be used offensively, as a sort of raid boss. And yes, using shields offensively is very strong, which is where the fireball comes in. The fireball can only be played within a certain range of your king, but it allows you to completely destroy a shield, regardless of the shield's value. You can even destroy a shield and capture that piece in the same turn. I'm hoping that this will limit a shield's offensive usefulness. This is the duck. If you're familiar with duck chess, this card works in a similar way. After the card is placed, the user will be able to place a rubber duck on an empty square after they make their move for the next three moves. The duck acts like a wall, meaning that no piece of either color can pass through it. Knights can still jump over it, however. This card can be very useful offensively and defensively, allowing for unique attacks and providing a last-ditch defense in a pinch. The next two cards are my personal favorites, the Rift and Ceasefire. The Rift splits the board in half vertically, and Ceasefire splits it horizontally. These cards last for three turns and can even be active at the same time, splitting the board into quarters. This leads to a lot of interesting situations where pieces are cut off from defending or attacking each other and have significantly limited movement. The last card I have currently is the Warp. The warp allows you to teleport a bishop, a knight, or a rook, but there's a catch. You can only teleport to one of your own pawns, and you have to capture your own pawn to do so. In the right situation, this card can be very strong. It allows you to reposition a piece dramatically, which can either save it from being trapped, or quickly add another piece to an attack. You could even teleport to the other side of a rift or ceasefire. That's it for the overview of what I have so far, but now for the important part. Deckmate is going into alpha soon, and I'm now accepting signups for my first closed alpha. I've set the launch date for Friday, April 28th through Steam. In order to sign up, you'll need to join my Discord server and fill out the Google form, both of which are linked in the description. I'll be selecting testers throughout the week and will send out official invites on the 28th. If you're interested in following Deckmate's development, make sure to subscribe to my channel. It would also mean a lot to me if you would like the video and leave a comment with your feedback. This will help my videos get recommended to more people, which will help me out a ton. I can't wait for people to get their hands on the game, and I'm excited to work with the community to make the best game possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.